I just realised I need my phone. <sighs> my hair is nice and short and I love it. I don't know why I clap, I'm only using one microphone that's connected to my camera. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. <sighs> my hair is nice and short and I love it. I don't know why I clap, I'm only using one microphone that's connected to my camera. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello, my name's Lydia and I'm in mental health videos pretty much every day. I do other subject videos but my primary focus on this channel is mental health. Today I'm doing a tag and it was a tag sent to me by the wonderful Louise. Lulu B before if you don't know, her channel is linked in the description down below. She made my M card for me, she's an amazing YouTuber, she's Scottish. So today we are doing the BPD tag and anyone doesn't know, I have BPD, I do tag videos. So let's jump into this. When did you first learn what BPD was? Right, so here's a fun fact. Use the thing, bipolar disorder was BPD. I thought that's what the abbreviation was for. I didn't know it was a separate condition when I was younger. I was like 12 or 13 when that so please don't. And no one ever corrected me because my family don't talk about mental health. What BPD was? Around the time I was diagnosed, I knew of it before then because I studied health and social care now for a long time. Currently doing a level 3 counselling course as well which I'm excited about. I'm starting that in January which is exciting. Um, so I found out in what 2014 2015 when did you get diagnosed i got diagnosed when i was 17 just about to turn 18. i got diagnosed the year before i went to uni so that was interesting because i i have so many stories that i could tell about college it's unbelievable uh, i'm gonna start us telling them slowly and stepping back into the story time world because so it was when i was around 18 so it's been nearly five years now. Did you have any other mental health issues? Yes. Which is one symptom you struggle with the most? The symptom I struggle with the most has to be the self-destructive patterns. When I say that I mean self-harm and suicide. Are you in therapy or on medication? I take medication and I'm not currently in therapy. But I have tried therapy, I have done DBT. How do your loved ones react to your BPD? Not great. They don't understand it very well and they don't listen to me when I try and explain it. Um, the best example would be two years ago. I tried to kill myself and I didn't reach out for help. My mum found out about it through the hospital and said oh, if you wanted to talk to me you could have just texted me you didn't need to try and kill yourself for it and I'm like I didn't try and kill myself because I wanted to talk to you. I tried to kill myself because I wanted to be dead. BPD or EUPD? BPD. Please don't use EUPD with me. Oh my god. I don't like being called emotionally unstable. No, I prefer it being called BBT. Describe yourself slash your identity in three words. Tragic. Dysfunctional. <laughs> random. What emotion is the most difficult to handle for you? happiness. That sounds really backwards. I can manage my depression a lot better than I can manage when I am freaking running around doing everything and I, I just can't keep up with myself sometimes. Do you know anyone else that lives in real life with this, with this disorder? My best advice is to just be yourself. Here's a tag video for you. The BPD tag. Let's get it moving and break the stigma. That was the worst and weirdest outro I've ever done. I'm never doing that again. Oh my god. I don't know how to! Wait, actually. Ow! That's hot. Don't, play, don't hold lava lamps. <laughs>